YouTube, what's up, man? I've been banging out these gameplays mostly because I've been having great games. Every night we play Madden Twitch.tv slash dub dot. That link is below. So if you want to check out some of these games and learn from the best, make sure you check out those live streams. Also, man, you want to cop some merch, man. This is the salute to service shirt, neededgamingstore.com. That link is below. Not much to teach you guys this game, but I want you to give me a W or an L. Just want to throw the light music behind the gameplay. Get it more popping. Let me know if that's a W or L in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this game. It was a fun one. All right, so this guy had the Ravens, and I'll tell you this. He was running every gadget play in the book right there. He starts with the screen, starts with a jet touch pass. I mean, these are my nightmare plays to play against. Hate playing. I don't know how to stop jet touch pass. I don't know how to stop these motion RPOs at pretty much every play in the book. I would go ahead and, and guess this was Baltimore playbook. I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, as we see Walter Payton with the X under his feet, that's going to be a demon to try to stop. And this is I this play. I as much as they take out all the good passing plays, take out the motion out throw to the running back. I don't know how to stop that at all. I'll try a bunch of things right now. And he throws this laser the diving catch on defense. We hate the diving catch on offense. We love it. And here he is, RPO McGavin getting in for seven. He opened the whole playbook up on the first drive. Just a nightmare to defend all that stuff. I mean, as much as we hate Madden, everybody says the game sucks. There's a lot of plays that you can use in this this year. A lot of schemes, tons of different things you'll see on Weekend League and, and Mutt. And right here, I run Moss, so he blitzes everybody. Moss is the best decoy on Mutt. So if you're not using Moss, I mean, it doesn't work that much. But look at how many people he just devoted to stopping Randy Moss and giving me an easy, nice little 30-yard gain over the middle. Vic scrambles up the middle for a little bit. Next play, we're going to go back to Vic again. Mm, two two blasts in a row is flirting with trouble. I will tell you that it's flirting with trouble. Uh, and we'll see as that drive, this drive continues as I get sacked. Get to a third and long right here. Uh, going to go blast, uh, but we're going to get outside. We get outside. I liked what I saw. That's what the runners teach me. Like what you see. Boom. You get outside. And the next play, we're going to get blurred. So what was that? Four blasts, back to back. Uh, you're going to fumble. That's what it is. It's a gift and a curse. You guys see me running it all the time, but and he swags into the end zone. That hurt my soul. He swagged into my end zone. Hurt my soul a little bit, but it's all right. We're down 14 nothing. You spotted them 14. What are you going to do about it? That's pretty much, that's why they watch. That's why they tune in. So make sure you guys are clicking that Twitch button below. Brian West, we're going to kick return. He's not the fastest, but I was done putting Dion and guys with low carry back at kick return. Honestly, I feel like kick returning is, is rough right now. Going for the cover three beater over the top. We get it. Can't stay in bounds. Ooh, I, I, I got to get a touchdown out of there. Got to have better stick right there. Little read option over here to Walter Payton up the middle, picking up seven yards. Once again, we'll go back to the read option. Got a second and short, so go ahead and run again. Third and short, we're going to go to the blast, get the first down, and we're going to get up out of there. Closing in and down to the two-yard line, Michael Vick goes. We're going to run a little dive with Walter Payton. Let Vick get his stamina back so he can run that blast to the ass. Ooh, but he didn't get in. But you know what happens. You do it once, you just get closer, do it again. It's the best short yardage playing the game. Literally, probably the only reason I still run it or just to have fun and make highlights. But there's so many fumbles, but when you get that close to the end zone, it is automatic. Here we go. Another motion out running back pass. Great tackle by Night Train there. They did make a patch a couple months ago that if you click on, you will not get jukeboxed. Uh, so the jukebox really is for people that don't click on their defenders. If you click on, you will not get jukeboxed. As you see me click on with Night Train there and make that tackle on the open field. Hit stick coming through the gap on that inside zone. We get my man to a second and 14 right here. He's looking. This is his other pass play, and I pick it off right here. Mike Evans, boom, underneath. He threw it right to me. Was almost surprised that he threw it to me, and that being surprised that someone throws right at you is going to come into play later in this game but next play Vic blast right up the right up the middle easy when he's healthy when it first drive first play of the drive he's going to get it done he's going to find somewhere to go uh getting better at learning where to go against all those different defenses can I go outside do I gotta go up the middle with blast what do I have to do uh and was able to score a touchdown there here we go again I finally got it man up there is slay pass commit should have been a pick six but he swatted Boom, right here, he throws a little hitch. He, so he mixed in a couple little pass plays. He's got his gadgets. He's got his remember the Titans offense, but he's still got a couple pass plays. But here he's looking for the post, and boom, big play. Slay didn't get the pick on the play before, but he gets this one. 
picked off, went from 14 nothing to 14 tied. Now we're looking to go ahead and score a touchdown and get the game. And as you see here, I mean, his blast defense really wasn't good. I mean, and this is the worst people to play against when they have no idea how to stop blast or Michael Vick running because you should keep running it, but you're going to fumble like I already have in this game. Uh, going for a corner route over here. Michael Vick rolls out corner route. Boom. Just like that. We're down to the two yard line. Roll out corners mixed in with blast. I mean, I don't know if there's a better offense in Mutt right now. Uh, but we go up 21-14. We were down. We were down 14 nothing. Now we're up seven. Don't catch. I never catch the pick on the screen. When I see screen, I click on my lineman, try to run over and pick it off. Miles Garrett, I, I, all year I haven't caught it. And he actually hits me with a cover three beater before half. I got to have better stick there with Dawkins. Hopefully knock that ball out. Uh, no timeouts left. He's going to go for another one. Actually, you throw the ball away. Going to wind up getting three here. So it's going to be 21-17 going to half. I talked about having Brian Westbrook back at kick returning. And uh, honestly, most of the time, I really think there's no point in taking out kicks because there's too many enforcers. Everybody's 99 speed, but sometimes you just get the blocking from the heavens. And Westbrook still has the speed to get up the, out of there. Eagles great. Now, let me tell you guys, man, what card do you guys think needs to upgrade? Westbrook is one of them for me. Would love to have him 99 speed on my team. Uh, it'd be great to use him as my running back. But uh, let me know what cards you guys think need to upgrade. A lot of people talking about no promos right now, no new cards. And uh, Westbrook is one I would love to see. Obviously, Sean Taylor and Terrell Owens are probably right on the top of everybody's list. But uh, Westbrook is one that, I mean, might just be for Eagles fans, man. So let me know a card that you think only you would want to have or, or not as popular as T.O. or Sean Taylor. You know, but for me, it's Westbrook and obviously LeSean McCoy, too. But we're up by 11 here, feeling good. Those are nice little hits there, man. Anybody that spreads out the, spreads out his own defense and hits a hitch, uh, they can pass a little bit. You know, right here, I should have stayed on a little bit better as I smack him with Night Train Lane. Could have been a pick right there. Um, so this guy's breaking out the whole playbook here. We get good pressure. Nice little out route there to Randy Moss. Uh, Pat Pete, oh, man. He's been letting me down. Back to the touch pass. But right there, we stop it. Jalen Ramsey gets off the block. Boom. Makes that tackle on the backfield. Second and 13. Right here, he throws right at me again. At the end of the day, you have to just say, they're going to throw it, 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 they're going to throw it. But as you're lurking, you kind of think to yourself, like, yo, like, you kind of start to think, where's the next person he's going to throw to? Who do I have to click on to stop whoever he's going to throw to? Because he's damn sure not going to throw right at me. Running a little two-man under here, get a sack, boom. He did pick up that fourth down. Uh, that's okay, because I'm up 11, just everything in front of me, nothing deep down the field. As Lamar Jackson takes off, he actually spin moves my Taylor Mays. I would 1,000% have fumbled that, but he's he's down 11, so they're not going to make him fumble. If he was up 11, he's 1,000% fumbling that. There you go. Will route right there to Walter Payton. He's actually going to kick this field goal, make it a one-possession game, 28-20. to 20. No big deal. And, of course, we get scummed, scum kicks. Uh, I got to do a better job. I got to have better stick. We're on a three-yard line. Uh, rough spot to be. We're going to run a read option right here. Try to just get our face out of the back of the ends or back off the goalpost. Uh, just trying to take the two-minute warning here. Uh, we realized he did not contain last time. We're going to take it out with Vic, but the most athletic player on my field stumbles. Not only does he stumble, he stumbles backwards into the end zone for a safety. I could see tripping over somebody's feet, but he stumbled backwards into the end zone. Michael Vick? I mean, it happens, you know, just an unlucky thing. And this is why they watch, man. We don't like it easy. We put on for the content. We do these games so they're entertaining. You know, I could have easily ran a ball. You know, I could have easily just milked the clock. But and once again, I don't get the pick right there. Uh, he actually waited a little bit to throw it. That, I don't know if he meant to do that, but he waited a little bit to throw that, throw that screen right there. Uh, tries to go over top to Dallas Clark. Knocked away by Jalen Ramsey. Um, third and eight. What's he looking for here? corner route actually a little poke he actually poked right there that was a dot uh good throw walter Payton get about the great job by me clicking on ramsey here making sure ramsey didn't get blocked if ramsey got blocked there by calvin that was a touchdown and here he goes with the fake jet, jet pass and look where he threw right at me how many times this game have i been thrown right at he has disrespected my user this entire game and he takes the lead off that he takes the lead off that Goes up by one. We have to go get a field goal. Now, we have the 99 kick power. We have everything that we need. 
we can get this done easily. You know, he's just pretty much rushing for playing coverage right here. Hit the in route over there. Julio Jones, Juli Manduli. Nice little 16-yard gain. One more big pass play. We'll be in field goal range, so it's going to be the corner route. And, of course, I get that shit animation. Worst animation in the game. Does not count. Out of bounds. We got him on Warren Sapp. We're going to go for it again. Boom, picked off, but he doesn't get his feet in. That's one of the reasons man players attack the sidelines. If you throw a pick, maybe they won't keep their feet in. You know, if you throw the middle of the field, they're definitely keeping their feet in. Huge play by Vic here. Boom. Off his back foot. Throwing it to Randy Moss. Bring that receiver back. Swerve. Get good position. Toe tap. First down. Walter Payton even closer. Making this a chip shot field goal. Now, this field goal is easy. I'll be honest. One thing I don't want next year. I don't want an ability to cancel ice. It's actually one of the cool features in the game. Uh, and having an ability to cancel it kind of takes away from that feature and takes away from the gameplay. Uh, these moments should be a little more nerve-wracking. It should be a little scarier. It should be tougher to make this field goal. Even though that's a, what, a 35, 45, uh, what, from the 35-yard line is 45-yard line. is a 52-yarder. I thought I was closer than that. But anyway, 52-yarder. Uh, should be a little difficult for to win the game. It should be a little bit tougher. But like I said, that gameplay was fun. Let me know if the music behind the gameplay is a W or an L in the chat below, boys.